um, similar silicon uh, that's in here. And we, again, uh, are showing power. So we have quite a few wires coming out of the back of this device. Um, that's what's hooked up to show uh, the power traces on the monitor above it. Oops, kind of rotate that around. There you go. Uh, and then we have a similar device uh, next to it from our competitor, also instrumented to show power uh, with a bunch of similar wires coming out the back. Um, that one back over again. So you can see that both of the devices consume roughly similar amounts of power. <coughs> the white line here is the one for the Clover Trail tablet uh, at the battery, and the pink line here is the um, Qualcomm-based tablet um, uh, next to it from Dell. Um, and you'll basically see they're in the same ballpark. Yeah. So uh, one of the things that people were talking about before was um, how much power uh, our atom processors would be uh, and would they be able to fit into these tablets or not. And so as you can see here, these two tablets are about the same ballpark when it comes to the overall system. And the overall silicon um, is also in the same ballpark. So what we're also measuring is the CPU core and GPU core of both devices. The blue and the green are the CPU and GPU for the Clovertrail device. And the red and yellow are the uh, similar CPU GPU for the Qualcomm based device. And so you'll see if you do something more active than just letting it sit there, um, say for example play Angry Birds, see which level are we on now. Um, so if somebody wants to try to play the other one you can kind of see them side by side here. There you go. So you can see a little bit more power uh, there than idle, right? Um, and that uh, the graphics on our side actually seems to be a little bit higher than theirs um, because ours also contains a memory controller on that same power rail. Uh, it just depends on how you divide up the power delivery to the chip. So it may not be equivalently comparing the same things identically, but the main thing that consumes power there is the uh, graphics side, and you'll see that more visibly on some of the graphics benchmarks or uh, heavy duty games, for example, uh, for a more equal comparison. What you see here is kind of a strange behavior sometimes uh, on a screen like this where it's a little bit higher power uh, because of the overlays and other things that it's trying to draw. It still has the 3D background and it does this kind of overlay for the scores. Fortunately, you don't stay in that too long. You can just go to the next level and you'll be able to see everything kind of flatten out a little bit more equal again. So you do see some back and forth and uh, you'll see that power is roughly similar. Um, but performance on this is much better than this one. And as battery life goes, both matter, power and performance. So, any questions?